A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Today inshallah we have chosen to learn one dua which is really very important for every muslim and this dua is very useful when you are in difficulty and when you are passing through any hardship or any danger that you facing so this dua it is from surah number 21 verse 87 and this dua the prophet that recited and read was Nabiullah Yunus alayhi salam he is the prophet that got in trouble by leaving his nation behind or his people behind after they did not obey him he decided to leave the area and go away so he while he was crossing the ocean uh, by boat a well swallowed him so he was in the stomach of this of that animal we know how big it is and he was in the darkness of the ocean and he was in the darkness of the night so he recited this dua since he was a prophet he knew how to communicate with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he said Allah La ilaha illa anta Subhanaka Inni kuntu min al-zalimin La ilaha illa anta Subhanaka Inni kuntu min al-zalimin Let's practice more La ilaha illa anta Subhanaka Inni kuntu min al-zalimin لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين. He said, there is no deity except Allah, meaning there is no God except Allah. Exalt are you? Indeed, I have been of the wrongdoers. We need to admit our wrongdoing, and we need to t take ourselves back and repent back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let's just practice the dua insha'Allah so it can help us another time insha'Allah. Allah ilaha illa ant subhanaka inni kuntu min al-zalimin la ilaha illa ant subhanaka inni kuntu min al-zalimin لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت Subhanaka inni kuntu min al-zalimin. Sadaqallahu al-Azim wa sadaq Rasulul Kareem. Keep practicing. Learn this dua and use it whenever you need it. And doing more dua in our life is very important because when we do dua, it becomes into three ways. Either Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts it right away from us and Allah re rewards us and protect us at that moment or you make a dua and the dua will be postponed for you till the day of judgment or the dua that you made it can become as insurance meaning it will prevent Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will prevent any hardship or any difficult that was on your way because of the dua that you made. So making dua will never be losing thing. So do not be giving up from Allah's mercy. لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله We should not give up from Allah's mercy, inshallah. And وَاسْأَلُوا اللَّهَ مِنْ فَضْلِهِ Ask Allah's, Allah's bounty, inshallah. Make more dua as much as you can. Communicate with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through duas, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Sheikh Nurdin.